God is calling this man. You be quiet, Satan. I rebuke you. Hush your mouth. No. The way you just sin is dead. And you're sucking on a cancer stick. You're trying to hurry up the process. God doesn't want you to do it. He wants you to be better than sin. I know what you did. I was a person of this world. Don't trust him. Yeah. 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 The Bible says to preach. The Bible says to lift that damn voice like a trumpet and tell my people of their transgressions that if they do not repent, you will bear the wrath of God and the devil is hell. It says oh, no, preaching no, no, no. on the local campus at this This is not for your Jesus, the Lamb of God, who is for your sinful King of King and Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ. Church cannot save you. The Pope is leading the parade to hell. The sun's killing ground! Follow oh, Jesus! Oh, He's the only right way! The only truth! And the only life! Without Him, you're a dead man! In the hands of an angry God! I stand to be this day and I say be thankful, be thankful, be thankful. That it is me, the living God, who is the rock of refuge. That it is me, the living God, who is the strength, the glory. That it is me, the living God, who is the mercy provided for my own. For I say, when it is me that you look to, believe, and trust, it is me who guides you forth. I say, be thankful. Now I say, you are living in times when men are not ashamed to be identified with all manner of darkness, evil, and iniquity. Yet I say that my own people are the ones who claim they are mine, are ashamed to be identified with me. Now I say, stop and consider this day, are you truly identified with me? That is, are you willing to stand in my truth, declare my light, and proclaim me as who I am? For I say, the more that you will choose identity with me, the more that I will bless thee. That is, in the sense that I will cover thee in my strength, my truth, my light, my purpose, day by day. And I say that I will uplift, direct, and guide you forth. Now I say, this day that I do not think God am searching the earth at this time, for the ones who are truly repentant, for the ones who are truly aligned, for the ones who are truly found, founding in me. That is, the ones who will take on the covering of my life, my truth, my strength, and be ever remaining in my way. For I say, it is indeed a privilege to be identified with what it is that I offer unto thee, and be brought forth in me. For I say, when you choose the identity with me, you are choosing to live. Now I say, this day that I do not think God do not call you, to walk afar off from me, I do not call you to go in a way that is full of corruption, not at all. But I say that I call you to be uplifted, coming forth, ever guided in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that through me you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am. And I say that I call you to be thankful that through me you are directed each day. Now I say this day when I do living God do give to you my light upon the path, I say be coming forth, ever guided in me. And I say, be made glad that through me you are given the privilege to be redeemed, to be uplifted and guided day after day. For I say, through me you are purposed, through me you are directed and brought forth. And I say, through me you are given the hope and the peace, the strength, the safety of who I am. Now I say, this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, wicked generation, I say, there are endless multitudes who've gone according from me. And I say, they have chosen identity with the world, they have chosen identity with evil, they have chosen identity with that which is wickedness rather than me. And I say, in the choosing of their identity, they are losing the chance of eternal life. And I say, they are gaining instead the death, the damnation, the destruction that awaits all who violate me. Now I say, this day when I, a living God, do give to you my purpose, my plan, I say, be ever guided in the same. And I say, be brought forth, ever thankful that it is me you can look to and believe. 
For I say it is to me that you are given the truth and the light, the blessedness, the strength, the hope, and the mercy day by day. And it is to me that you are ever given the way of redemption, for I do give unto you the same. Now I say this day that I the living God have intended that men would know what it is to be kept, to be purposed, to be guided forth in my way. And I say that I've intended that men would know what it is to be ever instructed in the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. For I say to continue in me is to continue to live. And I say to continue in me is to continue to partake of all that I offer day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to the ones who trust, believe, and look to me. And it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide you forth. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady in your commitment unto me, and come forth ever rejoicing in me. For I say, if you stay ever faithful in your identity with me, you will not be ashamed. But I say, when you are taken out of my way and to the way of deceit by the cunning of demons, then I say you are overwhelmed. And I say that you go in the way of damnation of soul. I say this day it is important that you keep your first love, your allegiance unto me, and allow yourself to be guided by me. For I say, when any man or woman is guided by me, they are guided in truth. But I say, when you see the ones who are guided by deceit, of course they end in destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, am calling for my true ones to rise up in greater authority and power because they have yielded themselves to full identity with me. And I say, be praying each day that you will gain in your life full identity with me, with my purpose, my plan. For I say, when you truly gain that identity and maintain the same, I say that my strength is present upon thee. And I say that you will have power that men do not have, because it is me who fills thee with the same. Now I say, in this day in a wayward generation, consider that it is indeed a tremendous harvest field. That is, there are souls in the balances waiting to hear the call to repent and obey the same. And I say, even though it does not appear that men desire my way, it is not true. For I say, there is longing within the bosom of men, of humankind, to be delivered from the ravages of sin, from the throes of darkness, and to be brought forth in my life. Now remember, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the Creator, the only Creator that has brought men forth. And I say that I instilled in men the cry for me. And I say there are those who, when they hear the call to repent, will know the quickening of the same. And I say they will fully abandon themselves unto me and know that I live. I say this day be thankful to have your identity in me, to be ever representing me. And I say be thankful that through me you are uplifted and guided and brought forth. Be thankful that through me you are directed in that which I give you time and again. For I say it is me that will be God who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and strength and hope provided. Now I say it is me, the living God, who does give the pathway of life to any and all who will walk uprightly in me. And it is me, the living God, who does give the light upon that pathway that men and women and children can come forth ever made glad for my way. For I say that my way is strength and truth and blessedness, power and glory revealed. And I say that my way is ordained for all who will trust and believe upon me. Now I say this day when you consider how much I give to thee, I say it is a privilege to partake of me. For I say that I, the living God, will not withhold myself from a people who hunger after my righteousness and desire the light of the same. For I say when the people are truly hungering and thirsting for me, then I say it is me, the living God, who will fill them with my joy. And I say that they will be able to be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in the truth and the light, the mercy of who I am. I say, be glad even now that it is me you can look to, that it is me you can trust in and obey. And I say, be thankful for the purpose, the plan, the truth that I give thee time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to you exactly what you need, as you will continue to trust, to believe, to hope in me. And it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth, that you can indeed be glad, ever thankful for my way. I say this day, let it be me, the living God, who is the author and the finisher. Let it be me, the living God, who is the beginning and the end unto thee. That is, because you are not identified with this present evil world, but you are identified with me. 
For I say, if you truly could know what it is that I'm doing in the spirit, you would see that you are in exciting times. For I say, there's a war that goes on each day for the souls of men. And I say, as you determine yourself to obey me, you will see that I win. And I say, you will know great victory because it is me you believe in and trust. Now I say, each day keep up the shield of faith that you are not taken by the fiery poisonous darts of the wicked, but you can indeed keep trusting, believing, and hoping in me. For I say, when you hope in me, you are not made ashamed. When you hope in me, you are brought forth. I say this day that I, the living God, am punishing the evildoers. I'm punishing the ones who have abandoned my way to take up the way of deceit. But I say that I'm fully restoring the ones who truly repent unto me. Therefore I say, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful to be able to declare and proclaim the kingdom of my righteousness to all who will repent unto me. And I say, be thankful to be able to proclaim the truth and the light and the mercy revealed. For I say, it is me, the living God alone, of all the gods who is able. Therefore I say, trust, believe, and hope in me. And I say, know of a surety that I am the one true God who gives forth newness of life. I say, thank me and praise me for the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope that I give day after day. And thank me that for me you are guided in truth, for I am well able. Thank me that for me you are given the purpose, the plan that I give to thee. For I say, it is me, the living God alone, who is able. And it is me, the living God alone, who will guide the ones who believe upon me. Now I say, this day do not settle into the doldrums, the darkness, and think that is all there is. For I say that I am newness of life. And I say, when I give the call to all to repent, you will see many who will come alive in ways such as you've never seen. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the one who is far above men. And it is me, the living God, who gives the truth, the light, and the mercy to all who believe upon me. I say, be thankful even now to trust me, believe me, and look unto me, for I am the one who is able. And I say, be thankful even now that for me you are healed and established in my way. And I say, you are given the strength to continue the light upon the path and the truth that I provide. For I say, it is indeed a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me each day. And I say, it is indeed a privilege to be ever guided in that which I give you, for I am the I am. That is, I am the way that is truth and light and mercy revealed. And I say that I am the hope and the purpose provided. Therefore I say this day be glad to believe me, to trust me, and obey me each day. And I say be made glad that I give you what you need. For I say that I will give you the truth, I will give you the light as you allow yourself to be guided each day by my spirit. For I say you are meant to be bound constantly abiding by identity with me. That is, abiding in the mind of my spirit, being brought forth and guided in my way. For I say that I, the living God, do not guide my people into a ditch, but I guide them onward in the righteousness of who I am. Now I say, when you see the calamity, the tragedy, the sorrow of those who have turned aside, remember this. Remember that if they would truly repent and return to me, it is me, the living God, who could set them free. But I say, if they continue in the course of their own determination, they will be utterly destroyed. For I say, it is a time of my wrath revealed upon the proud, the defiant, the rebellious who hate my way. But I say that it's likewise the time of my mercy given to the ones who will truly repent and be guided forth, uplifted, directed, and instructed by me. I say thank me and praise me that you are privileged to give the call to all to repent, that they would indeed humble themselves and return to me, and that you can indeed be partakers of the kingdom of life of who I am, that you can indeed choose full identity with me and be having the power that is found in me. For I say it is me the living God who is able, therefore I say trust and believe. And it is me the living God who does bring forth, I say keep your confidence in me. I say this day keep up the shield of faith, keep on your guard, and continue steadily in me, ever giving thanks and praise unto me as the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say it is me the living God alone of all the gods who is able. I say give thanks. Body comes together. Not everybody's a mouth. And everybody's, everybody's an evangelist, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. How, where are the Christians? How come they're not doing this? Like you're doing that, and I, I, don't. I do this, but where's the rest of the Christians at? Maybe they're not Christians after all. You think? I think that that's. I'm a, 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 I'm
the diversity of people and their approaches to God. It's broad is that there's many other ways that people seek outside of the redemption of Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus was referring to those in the church. That's who he called the broad way. He said, come out of her, my people. It's the broad way that goes to hell, led by the blind leaders of the blind. That sounds like he's talking about the church. Yeah, you know what? I'll have to take a look at that, Tom, because that's not the way I've seen it.